<laughs> Good day to you. Coming from inside Bella the Bowler, we're at Johnston Canyon here in Banff National Park. And this is perhaps our last camping trip of the 2022 season. Not sure yet. We might get out one more weekend. But uh, if it is our last one, we're going to go out in style, spending two days touring around Banff National Park. So let's check it out. So we pulled in pretty late last night. Well, it wasn't really late. It was about 8.30 or so, but it was pretty dark and it was really rainy. So we had to set up in the rain and the dark, which is never fun. So I haven't even had a chance to look around the uh, campground yet, but Emily's out walking Mabel and I'm just cooking breakfast and that's how we're going to start day one. Not too chilly this morning, just a light fleece is all that's required. It's more damp than anything, but I'm uh, attempting to burn through at least one of my four disposable propane bottles that are ancient and so old I don't know how old they actually are. And uh, try and get through one of those and reduce the Dano Can propane bottle collection. Good morning. It's a foggy, slightly rainy day in Banff and we're starting it off at the Banff Gondola at Sulphur Mountain. Yeah, we haven't done this for a few years now, so it should be fun to revisit. We're just waiting for Emily's parents to show up and uh, our tickets aren't for another hour, so we have some time to look around. So as we were walking over, I said, huh, I'd like to know a little more about the Banff Gondola. So luckily we have phone service here, so I pulled up some information. So the lower terminal's elevation is at 5,194 feet above sea level. It goes up to 7,486 feet, with a total gain of 2,292 feet. There are 40 gondola cars that take four passengers each, over 5,120 feet of track. The average incline 51 percent the diameter of the rope is about one and a half inches the weight of all the rope all together is 46,000 pounds it goes about 10 feet per second the length of the trip is eight minutes it can take 650 passengers per hour in each direction over three towers Maximum height above the ground, 125 feet. It's driven by a diesel engine. It was constructed from 1958 to 1959, with reconstruction happening in 1997 to 1998. Built by a company from Switzerland. Now you know. <laughs> And just to provide some context, you will notice the, in a lot of the video here that the flags are all flying at half mast. If you're watching this in the future, which of course you are because I'm not live streaming it, it is all due to the fairly recent death of Queen Elizabeth II. So the country is still in its official 10 day mourning period. So you will see the flags at half mast all throughout this video and that is why. We're just gonna take a quick walk since we have some time to kill here up to the Banff Upper Hot Springs. There's an earth cache there that I'd like to find, so. I do love how in the national parks, everything has this like stone look or you know stone construction and brick has a very quintessential vacation feel like I feel like we're here visiting in the 50s or the 60s and there's a look at some of the water from the upper hot springs coming down we'll get a closer look at that on our way back down but we're heading up here to the viewing platform to get some information for the earth cache we beat the crowds up here since it doesn't open till noon 
and it's only about 10 o'clock. So we get a nice look at the pool, all quiet with nobody in it currently. And this plaque here kind of talks about what I was saying. The bathhouse is in the rustic and Tudor revival motifs as used by the same architect for many of his national park buildings. Officially opened the 27th of June, 1932. So easy to picture people coming up here with their Ford Model A's of the era, taking what would be an epic road trip at that point in time. There's a look at the prices. Adults, $9.25. Seniors, $8. My favorite part, and I'm sure, yeah, huh? <laughs> a historic swimsuit. I would totally do that. Yeah, I wonder what a historic swimsuit looks like. Like, yeah, this was first worn by somebody in the 30s. Uh, may, or of may, wool? <laughs> may or may not have been washed since then. <laughs> That's awesome. Mmm, sulfurous. We should have been here pre-98 and got to ride in one of those. Those look fantastic. to head on up. That's what makes it fun. Lean forward and smile. <laughs> yeah, they say it takes two hours. Five and a half kilometers. A gain of 650 meters. Hmm. Can you put your hand inside the gondola? Oh, there's someone in that one. Yeah. And the gondola just came to a stop. And I'm not going to say we're crazy high, but we are looking down at a lot of trees here. Um, yeah, okay, this is fun. Um, <laughs> yeah. And there's, of course, there's no form of commute. Oh, there is a speaker above oh, okay, us. Okay, okay. So there, there is a form of communication so that they can tell us what's going on. <laughs> alert, alert, don't panic, stay seated. Oh, At boy. all times. Mm -hmm. Stay seated while the gondola is in motion. Oh boy. Well, we're not in motion. We're I... Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Well, the other way is going up. Okay, so they have just reversed the I gondola. I don't think that's supposed no, to. We are on our way back down. Did you pay full price? Or yes. <laughs> and we are just hoping we're going down in a controlled manner. <laughs> and now we have stopped again. 
And, and we are swinging. We are swinging. We are swinging. <laughs> There's a lot of swinging. Oh I God. think somebody got in and got sick and they had to bring them back. Probably. I Probably. hope that's all it is. Yeah. Okay. We are oh, once again into moving. The clouds. Into the clouds. So that was quite an experience. Mm -hmm. That was exciting. We were just saying that there's undoubtedly, with the number of people on the gondola at any given time, uh, undoubtedly there was somebody somewhere having a really serious panic attack during that stoppage. Not saying it was me, but, you know, it was yeah. me. Yeah, no, yes. not really. <laughs> Didn't see that on the way up where it says the gondola may slow or stop as part of normal operation and then there's a phone number there to call or to text. I'm like, because they won't know if we're stopped or not? I'm like, yeah, that's what I, mean. I guess that's how they expect you to get your information now. I am impressed. I did not know this would happen. And we got above the clouds. It's hmm really cloudy and whatnot down in the valley. Yeah, the whole valley wow. But coming up here, we made it. We're above the clouds. We're actually going to get views from the top. Okay, we made it to the top. Made little, it. little extra adventure along the way, but we're here. Normally they warn you to uh, bring extra layers because it's colder at the top, but it's much warmer up here than it was at the bottom today, thanks to actually getting above the clouds and into some sun. Gonna try and get up to the top to where the observatory is. Hell of a thing to do to a fat man. I left the rest of the family behind. They might be the smart ones. <laughs> Look back at the visitor center where the gondola comes up. Shows you how far we've come. Look at the cosmic ray station here on top of Sulphur Mountain. Little overview of the cosmic ray station. Established in the late 50s. Operated up until 1978. If you ever visit the University of Calgary, or like me, worked there for many years, there is a plaque that recognizes this just outside the Science B building on the campus. Try to look inside, can't really see through the scratches and the reflections. Quick opportunity to take in the views from up here. 
we do have a lunch reservation back at the visitor center that I need to make sure I'm back for having deserted everyone else so time to head back down sometimes when you live so close to these places you forget that this actually is like a world-class destination a lifetime trip for a lot of people and we are very fortunate to have it here and able to experience it right in our very own backyard and we often take it for granted but you know you're up here you hear languages being spoken from people all over the world like for a lot of people coming to Banff is the trip of a lifetime and we're fortunate to get to share it with you and barely drive you know an hour hour and a half from home made it to level four the sky observation deck Nice view of the town site down below. Gondola. Yeah. Gondola On the way back down, hoping for a less memorable ride than the trip up. <laughs> oh, wow. Man, it's quite the... Uh, yeah. I can't see nothing. Well, turn around. Mm -hmm. You can see the Banff Springs down there. And now that it's cleared up a little bit, you can actually see the top where we just were. So that is the view we could not get this morning. The cars were just disappearing into the fog, but way up there, that's the very top. So that wraps up the gondola portion of today's